For this week's art assignment, you will be creating your own art folder to keep yourself organized. It will be handy for um, keeping all of your artwork in one place so you don't lose track of it, especially since you need a picture of all of your artwork so that I can see it. This will help keep everything in one place so once you've taken a picture, you can just slide it in the folder and know where it will be. So to do this, you will need two pieces of paper. It could be colored construction paper or white paper, whatever you have. For this example, I'm going to use this yellow and green paper. You could just use white paper. It's up to you. You also will need either glue or tape. I am going to show you what you would do with glue. So if you have a glue bottle, you could use that or a glue stick. You're just going to put the glue on one side of one of the papers, only on three sides. So I did one, two, and three. I did not put glue on the top. Then you're just gonna sandwich another piece of paper on top and smooth down the edges where you put glue. Oops, it slid around. Then once it's glued down, you can let it dry. It might take about a minute for it to dry and not move around. So I would wait, then you can start the next step. If you're taping it, then you just need to add tape to all of the, or three of the edges, not all of the edges, you need an open side. So you add tape to three of the sides, laying it down on half of the tape. So then you can flip it over and fold over the tape so it sandwiches the two pieces of paper together. If you want, you can cut off any tape that hangs over the edge. You don't have to, but you can if you want it to be or look a little neater, but it's not required. Once you've either glued or taped three of your sides down, you have a nice little folder with an open side that you can slip your artwork into. Next, it's time for decorating your folder. For this, I would take out a scrap piece of paper to do some doodling or some um, brainstorming of ideas because you guys are going to create some artwork using your name. So my first name is Carolyn. You guys know me by Mrs. Belisle. But my first name is Carolyn. So you're going to make some artwork based on your name and who you are. So I'm brainstorming things that I like, things that I like to do, things that um, I do a lot, or just things that I would use to describe me. So spend some time on a scrap piece of paper writing down some things. Um, whatever comes to mind, I wrote painting, drawing, reading, baking, being outside, going on runs, and then I'm going to think of things I could draw to show those things. So painting, I could draw a paintbrush, drawing, I could draw a pencil, reading, I can draw a book, baking, I could draw a mixing bowl or maybe a spoon. So this is for you to brainstorm all your ideas, things about you. Ooh, I just thought of a very important one. Can't forget this. Ice cream, obviously, 
very important thing about me is I love ice cream, as you guys know. So once you have your ideas written down and you know kind of what you want, you could start practicing drawing some of your ideas on your scrap paper as well. I'm going to move to drawing it onto my um, art folder right away just so you guys can see. I'm going to write my name, but instead of just writing it in boring letters, I'm going to turn my letters into the things about me. So using all the things that I wrote on my list when I was brainstorming, I'm going to make my name into an illustrated word that shows things that I like and things about me. So I'm going to turn the letter C into some flowers because I like being outside. And then each letter is going to be a different thing or a different drawing. It's still going to look like the letter so you can read my name, but it's going to be a drawing or a picture of something that describes me or something that I like. Once you're done drawing all your letters, you can start coloring. Once you're done coloring your name, you can design the background and color in the background so it's um, a little more colorful than a plain piece of paper. Then when you're all done with your art folder, make sure you take a picture of it and post it in Google Classroom so that I can see it. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with for your names.